Six million. Yeah, look, we've had some fantastic uh, competitors here, no doubt about it. And as you say, so many visitors in town. And Nick, you've done a, a, a number of functions uh, throughout the week as well. You're probably sick of the Australian accents, are you? Uh, and I, I spent a few days in, <laughs> in, in Melbourne this spring as well. So, no, of course not. I, <laughs> I, I, I love I love hanging out with you guys. You know that. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it is great to see a strong Australian participation here. You hope that it will presage more horses coming up next year and make this a genuine international competition, be able to compare northern and southern hemisphere form and see how all the nations are getting on against one another. Make the world a smaller place. That's what we're trying to do. Absolutely. 5.5 money coming for number 11 wingspan down towards the bottom. This, this for International Group 1 racing, this is the last roll of the dice for the Japanese runners now. It is. Uh, they've got a very strong hand here, haven't they, with Tassiera, Liberty Island. Tassiera is dead solid. It's just going to run well. Here is, uh, of course, uh, on screen, uh, Spirit Dancer still looking pretty relaxed around at the start. What about Caliph? Can he, can he measure up here against some of these, or is it, is well, it a stiff uphill task for him? He, he's trained by... Very capable trainers, Carlos and Jan Lerner. They've had another good year, been ambitiously campaigned, but he's twice finished behind Spirit Dancer, both in Saudi and in Bahrain. And with no obvious excuses, he's run really well both times, but I just don't really see how you can fashion a, a more cogent case for him than you can for the horse in shot there. Straight yes. in. Sorry, Judy. Carry I was on. just going to say, romantic warrior behind the gates. He looks nice and relaxed, doesn't he? He's. Uh, you know, behaving himself beautifully there. And uh, you can see Liberty Island just a little bit on his on her toes, but um, that might just be very normal for her as well. You gave straight Aaron a good report, Jenny, because he was in good form coming into this race last year, but he hasn't been in that same form. He obviously left the barn of Casper Bounds. He's gone to Ricky Yu. But there were maybe a couple of signs I thought that he might have been sort of started to come back maybe, but he's, I think he's still a long way off where he was this point last season. Yeah, look, he's had those two runs back in this campaign and he's been looking well on each occasion. I thought he was even a little step up today as well in the looks department. That's why I put him in second. As the field are moving in in front of a packed house here at Tishartan for the final Group 1 on HKIR Day 2024, the Turf World Championships. There is Peter Lau sitting in the stands in anticipation here of Romantic Warrior potentially winning a third historic Hong Kong Cup with Mark McNamara. He's gone in, Tom Peter Lau, Sir Alex Ferguson both trackside, Romantic Warrior. We're underway in the cup and he jumped well, Romantic Warrior, and he's going to lead them down past the winning post again. Wingspans come up alongside to have a look for the lead. Encountered Tastira White going into the first turn. Nimble Nimbus down on the rail from Straight Aaron and then came around that first turn. On the fence then is Caliph, followed then in between horses by Liberty Island. And further back in the race is the Foxes and last of all is Content running up the side. And the race is being led here by Wingspan. As expected, she's taken over the lead by half a length over Tastiera running second. Encountered third, Romantic Warrior fourth, and McDonald's off the rail. Not risk getting pocketed, and he's taken the great horse one off the fence. Spirit Dancer wider, and then came Nimble Nimbus and Straight Aaron. A length to Liberty Island from Caliph and the Foxes, and last of all is Content. Her stable mate, Wingspan, she leads by two at a good tempo. Tastier is running second, encountered run of the race third, and Romantic Warrior fourth at the 1,000 metre mark. Nimble Nimbus on the fence. Spirit Dancer three wide with Straight Aaron splitting horses. Next is Liberty Island from Caliph, the Foxes, and last of all, the turn off the back straight is Content. Wingspan lead, 7.50 to go in the cup. He's out by two. Tastiera for Japan, second, encountered third. Fourth, Romantic Warrior, Spirit Dancer next. Then came Nimble Nimbus and Straight Aaron. A length to Liberty Island from Caliph and the Foxes. And a length away last of all is Content. 500 metres to go. And leading for home wingspan, Tastiera, Romantic Warrior. He's come up outside the three from Spirit Dancer and Liberty Island wider out. Tastiera leads, Romantic Warrior. He's a neck on the outside. Liberty Island three lengths away. Romantic Warrior, he's taken over. One length, Tastiera. Liberty Island continues to run on, but it's the Warrior, Romantic Warrior, two on Liberty Island. It's history at Chartin. Three cups, Romantic Warrior, beat home Liberty Island and Testiera. The Foxes, Straight Aaron, then came Content and Caliph and Nimble Nimbus and Wingspan and Spirit Dancer and Encountered. Romantic Warrior, James McDonald at 1.1 and 1. Peter Lau 
has himself a wonder horse. Danny Shum is a wonder trainer. He's peaked him again. He can run anywhere. He peaks him. Liberty Island's run on well for second. Tastier has run third, but there is just no beating this horse. It's close for fourth between the Foxes and Straight Aaron. There's not much in that, but it's all about history at Shartin. Romantic warrior. James had a look around at the Japanese runners, and they just can't go with him. No one can go with him. Anywhere he goes, what an animal, what a team. Our warrior, Jay McDonald, and his trainer, C.S. Shum. James is about to head back to join Nick. Yep. He's gone around to the back straight, Romantic Warrior. He's pulled up by the 1,400 metre mark, 2 minutes, 0.51. They're inside standard. Wingspan set the tempo. She faded. Romantic Warrior joined in. Tastiera went with him briefly, but that's all it was. Liberty Island's run on. She was never, ever going to get him. So many people came to see two horses today. Kaying rising, he's delivered, and then there's this guy, Mr. Oh, no. Perfection himself, romantic warrior. He's still coming back towards you, Nick. He could have gone around again and still beaten them. What an animal, and the man on board, what a rider. He certainly is, yes, quite the horse, quite the rider. I think the perfect combination. It's written in the stars, James McDonald, history at Chartin. Keep that going, must man. have felt very, very special. Unbelievable. So, um, so goddamn pr proud of this horse. Keep going, please. Um, uh, he's just been a, a remarkable effort by Danny and his team. And uh, the Japanese put it to him, but with no luck. We're just running out of superlatives, yeah, aren't we, really? He's the best. He is indeed. Forget um, the rest. He's the best. <laughs> he is indeed. And just on today's performance, uh, he felt as good as he's ever felt? Yeah, he has been flying. and mate, uh, Anyone could ride him. He's, he's that easy, but I'm the lucky one. Horse of a lifetime. This was our moment um, to create history, and it did set felt like I was lining up for the winning kick for the All Blacks. It was uh, that pinch me moment. James, let's leave it there. Yeah. Very well done. Thank you. James McDonald after Romantic Warrior wins a third historic Hong Kong Cup. He's pumped up. He's on top of the world after the Hong Kong Cup.